Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you a quick and simple way of putting parental controls on your child's iPhone or iPad. There are much more complex ways of doing this and it gives you more control remotely, but I'm just gonna go through the simple way of doing this. So first of all, find the settings cog on your iPhone or iPad or your child's iPhone or iPad, tap on it, and then scroll up or down and you're looking for screen time, just there, tap on that. Then you want to turn on screen time, have a look through this uh, guide here, this on screen time, and then tap continue. And then it says here, is this iPad for yourself or for your child? Well, I'm going to tap, this is my iPad, because sometimes when I go through, this is my child's iPad, things don't seem to sort of happen properly. So I'm going to tap, this is my iPad. Okay, and it takes a couple of seconds to come on. So here we've got downtime, so we can tap on that, and we can basically turn that on and we can schedule what days we and what times we want the iPad to stop working for our children. So uh, at the moment it's saying every day from 10 p.m. till 7 a.m. I can customise the days if I want so if I'd rather on a Saturday and Sunday the days be longer I can do that I can select up until say 11 o'clock on a Saturday night and uh, 11 o'clock if I want to on a Friday night. So there we go. So as you can see here, the child can't use the iPad between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Monday to Thursday and between 11 p.m. and 7 a.m. on Friday and Saturdays and same it's back to 10 till 7 on Sundays. If we go back there, we can set limits for apps. So if we want to sort of limit the amount of things that they do on here, you can select all apps and all categories if you want, or you can just select certain apps and categories. So in social there, you can just say, right, I just want to uh, set limits on TikTok and you can set the number of hours that uh, they can use that per day. So they go five hours a day, add, and there you go. That says they can only use TikTok for five hours a day. You can keep adding more apps if you want to on there. Let's go back. So you've got here communication limits here. So uh, it says allowed communication during screen time, which is during the daytime when they're allowed to use it, they can contact everyone. During downtime, they can still contact everyone. But if you want, you can say only contact specific contacts on there. If we go back and back again, you've got an always allowed column there. So these are things that you can set. So if you wanted to always allow them into the app store, just tap the plus next to the app store and there you go, that gets added to the always allowed. So even outside of hours, even after 10 o'clock in the evening, they can still go into the app store if they want to, as I've put that there. If you don't want them to go into any of these apps, just tap on the little red circle beside it and remove and that removes them and that means again they can't get into the app store after 10 p.m or before 7 a.m and you've got allowed contacts here so so if you go into contacts up there and then tap specific contacts sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't it should they go it should give you a choose from my contacts and you can tap choose from my contacts and you can select from a list of contacts that they're allowed to communicate with and that's all the time regardless of any restrictions. But like I say, that does take a little bit of getting used to. You sometimes have to tap everyone and then specific contacts again a few times before this comes up. I think this seems to be a bug in the Apple iOS 15 system. Hopefully by the time you've seen this video, that bug should have been cleared up. Let's hope so. The next section here is content and privacy restrictions. We can turn that on and uh, we can go into iTunes and App Store purchases and we can allow or disallow them from installing new apps. We can allow or disallow them from deleting apps on there and we can also allow or disallow them from making in-app purchases. We can also say whether or not we want to require a password every time they go into an app. So, uh, so you could say, yes, I want to always require the Apple password password before they install an app on there. We've got allowed apps here. So if you want to turn off sort of apps on there that they're not allowed to use, these are Apple apps that come with the iPhone or the iPad. You can turn these on or off. So at the moment, they've always got access to all these apps. But say, for instance, you didn't want them access to mail, you could turn that off and that will block them from using mail. 
let's go back we've got content restrictions there so if we go into that again we can uh, set the store content there so if we don't want them downloading explicit music podcast news and workouts we can tap explicit there and set that to clean and if we want them to uh, download or don't want them to uh, download music videos or music profiles we can turn those off too movies if we go into there that we can set our age limit for the movies the rating on the movie so if we set it to you it meant that they could only download films that were universal suitable for all if we said pg we could download universal apps and pg apps on there and so forth the same applies to tv shows there you can do the ratings there we've got books so at the moment they can uh, uh, they can download explicit books so if we change that to clean that'll only allow them to uh, download books with clean content and apps on there so again we can select the age rating up to on the apps that they can download with ad allow clips we can either allow or don't allow them and if we go to web content there we've got unrestricted access selected at the moment or we can limit adult websites which means that uh, we can stop them from going into adult websites there. If we found a website that uh, was being restricted but we knew it didn't have adult content, we could add that website in the always allow column there. Or vice versa, if we found that they was getting into a website that Apple wasn't blocking in their limit adult websites and we knew we didn't want them to go in there, we can stick we can tap on never allow and we can type in the web address of the website that we don't want them to ever go into or we can say right they can only go into allowed websites only which means here you have to sort of build up a list of all the websites you want to allow them to go into that one might be a bit time consuming for you to do and might end up being a potential headache so i think limit adult websites is probably the best thing to do let's go back so on Siri here, we can allow or don't allow web search content. We can allow or disallow um, explicit language being spoken to in Siri. And uh, in the gaming center here, we've got multiplayer games. So it allows with everyone, allow with friends only, don't allow. We can add friends if we want, or we can say no, don't add friends. Allow or disallow, connect with friends, the same as screen recording, nearby multiplayer, private messaging profile privacy changes and avatar nickname changes so it's obviously up to you what you set these to let's go back also here we've got a privacy section here so we can allow or disallow all of those and we can allow or disallow changes to passcode account mobile data reduce loud sounds driving focus tv provider and background app activities now what we want to do is we just want to go back here and we've got an option here to use screen time passcode, which means that if they try and obviously access anything they shouldn't, it will ask them for a passcode. So let's just tap on use screen time passcode and we're gonna set a passcode here. So I'm just gonna set one just there and it's asking me to verify it. So I'll do it again. Okay, now obviously make sure that your passcode is more secure than mine because that's quite obvious, but I'm only doing this for the purpose of the video. And here it's saying to us, screen time recovery, it's saying um, if you forget your screen time passcode, you can use your Apple ID to reset it. So here you could type in your Apple ID if you wanted to and uh, reset it from your own Apple ID if you ever forgot that passcode. I'm pretty good at remembering things like that. So I'm just gonna click or tap cancel there on that and it will say are you sure yes I'm going to tap skip so uh, in a few seconds that use free time passcode use screen time passcode will change to change screen time passcode as it has now there we go so this is all shared across devices so uh, if they've got other devices there um, like I say the uh, should lock down other devices as well as long as i think they're using the same apple id but obviously double check on those other devices as well so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to come out of this i'm going to go into um safari and what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and go to an adult website and let's see what happens so okay so i've gone into the adult website and it says you cannot browse this page because it's restricted and if we tap allow website there they go it'll ask for that uh, screen time passcode that you just set without that screen time passcode they can't get into that website but obviously if you wanted to let them into a website not that you would want to let them into a website like this uh, but if you did want to let them if, if apple had made a mistake and uh, you knew that the website was safe then you could just temporarily type in your passcode there and it would give them temporary access to that website 
and it's kicked me out. I'm going to go back in again and the website has uh, has now loaded. So anyway, I'm going to come back out of that because we don't really want to be in there. If you find that you eventually want to turn this off, then go back into settings. OK, find and tap screen time. And then all you do is scroll down to the bottom here and turn off screen time. It'll ask for your passcode again. This is the screen time passcode and then uh, tap turn off screen time. So there you go. That is a quick and easy way of setting parental controls on your child's iPhone or iPad. Hope this guide helps and thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.